My name is Kay Asima, and I've been a firefighter with the City of Richmond since 2013. Being a firefighter is an honorable profession and is both physically and mentally challenging, which I enjoy. So I'm able to serve the community and uh, escape the redundancy that comes with a lot of career fields. So I, I go where the action is. Uh, I, I enjoy coming into work and being prepared for, for the unknown. I mean, from the time that I, I come in in the mornings, and set my gear on the truck and check my equipment for the next 24 hours, you know, anything goes. And, and you are potentially going to respond to the worst day of somebody's life. So um, for, for us to be able to um, make a difference in those citizens' lives when they need us is, is definitely a highlight of, of the career. Um, and aside from that, I mean, I, there's a lot of opportunities that I, I wouldn't otherwise have if I wasn't a part of my the city of Richmond. Like going to the, the top, the rooftop of all the high rises that the city has and uh, being able to see the city from, from that light and um, just the camaraderie that, of, that, that we have. Basically, you, you gain a second family. You know, your crew is, is, in most cases, like a family to you. And, and we live together for a third of our lives. And, and, and that commodity is definitely a highlight. Uh, it's, it, I enjoy coming into work every day. So. Oh, the challenges. Um, there's a few for sure. I mean, look, women were built differently. I'm, I'm not going to be as strong as a lot of my male coworkers, but I am strong enough to get the job done. And I think that as women, we have the tendency to push ourselves harder just to kind of prove that we even deserve to be here. Um, and it, it, you know, we all have to train, men and women alike. We're all going to have things that we need to get better at. Um, for me, it was ladders. It still is. So, you know, I, I train a lot and we train a lot. And, um, you know, so that we can be uh, the best that we can be for the, the citizens. And I, I think as women, we have the tendency to, um, to not put ourselves out there um, because we don't want to be perceived as inadequate. Um, and, and we are constantly under a microscope as a, as a female firefighter. I mean, it's just one of the facts. So that's a challenge for being a female. I mean, me personally, one of the biggest challenges that I've had in this department um, in my journey as a firefighter is, is when I came back from maternity leave. Um, you know, my, my body was, was different. I, I was out of shape, kind of, you know. Um, my hormones were all over the place and, you know, and now I'm away from my baby for 24 hours, you know, at a time and having to pump in the station and all those different variables that um, was just challenging. And I'm not the only female that's had to go through these challenges. And um, but it was something that I never actually um, saw. Uh, I, I, I wasn't prepared for. So. Um, that's hands down the, the most challenging uh, thing that I've had in this department um, for me. Um, and women go through these things all the time. So, oh man, my motivation. Um, this, this career is very rewarding and it's also very humbling. And in every day I am granted the opportunity to be better today, this moment, than I was yesterday. And, and that's my motivation. Um, but. I'm also a single, single mom of, of three kids um, and th that, you know, like most parents, your, your children are your motivation and I just, I hope that my kids are, find, especially me as my career choice as a firefighter, I, fi I hope that they find that as motivating as, as I find them as my motivation and I think that's all we can hope for as a parent. And women are essential to the fire service, of course, um, first off. Anybody who wants to, to be in the fire service and they're willing to embrace the blood, sweat, and tears that come along with being a firefighter, and please come on. Um, it, it's, it's hard work, but it's, it's also very rewarding. Um, and, you know, the citizens, when, when they need us, I don't think that they, they care about our gender or our religion or anything else that makes us different. They just want to know that we can do the job. So, as a woman in the fire service, I mean, you know, we we're just as important. I mean, I, I will say, look, there's there's been calls that that uh, some EMS calls that involve women issues, issues that only women would go through, 
and you know my crew looks at me and they're like you're the woman for this one and and I and I am because you know I, I do understand and, and chances are I've been through what they're going through because again these are issues that only women would go through so and we're truly an asset in these situations and we do pro provide a different outlook on the job um, and different experience on the job um, that that make us better. I'm a mom. I've got one son. He's 15, but I've I've had three daughters. Um, one of them is no longer with us, but I've I've got two daughters that I'm raising to be to be forces to be reckoned with. Um, they I'm raising them to be assertive and have the self confidence to just to go after whatever it is that they want to pursue in life and and basically not let anybody stop them. Um, and, and so my advice to any, any female that wants to be a firefighter is, look, if you're willing to train hard and you're willing to um, do more than what's required of you, um, and, and for anything in life, even if you don't want to be a firefighter, you know, my, my, my advice to all women is just per pursue your dreams. Don't let anybody tell you no. And if, if they do, if they tell you you can't, prove them wrong. So that's my advice.